just got back from the movie theater seeing some central intelligence. And, uh, yeah, I found I had a package! Yes! Well, I figured what better time than now to do my June 2016 Blu-ray pickups. Now, this is also a great buys type video because these are all great buys. So, I didn't get a lot, but I did pick up a few things. Um... Honestly, I bought a lot more, but they aren't going to be coming for a while yet. Um, it was pre-orders, so... <laughs> pre-orders, what are you going to do? But, Walmart. In their $8 dump bin, I, we now, I, now, I now know of a Walmart with an $8 Blu-ray dump bin. Awesome. I managed to find the Your Helmet is So Big edition of Spaceballs for $8. Dollars. That's right. This is a black case and everything. Love it. Now I got space balls on Blu-ray to add to my collection and great addition to boot for eight bucks. Not gonna pass that up. Then I also found the Riddick collection. That's two movies, Pitch Black and The Chronicles of Riddick, both unrated director's cut and theatrical versions. And this was. This was, how much was this? This was $15. So both movies, $15. Awesome. Awesome. Less than $8. You could have put this in the dump bin. And then there's this package here, which I actually bought off of somebody from Facebook in one of the many different groups that I'm in on there. And... The nice thing about this is the person was in the UK, but this is a North American, technically North American release, I guess it's whatever, it's the only release from it, from the film, and it's used, but oh, and look at that, he was nice enough to, I don't know if he did it or somebody else did it, but put some uh, styrofoam in there so that the disc would not pop out, but this is something we're going to catch later on, probably this year, for the 12 Days of Xmas, and that's Dismembering Christmas on Blu-ray. Number 240 of 300 from Slasher Studios. Card is still inside. And unfortunately, I missed out from getting this from the website itself, so it is a BDR in case you were curious at all. Um, but you know what? I figured, you know what? I'm not going to pass it up. He's looking to get rid of it, and I'm looking to get it. So it only ended up being about $20 once you get all the exchange rates and such in. And I figured $20 for a Blu-ray I wanted, and, you know, I'm looking for that's out of print, not a bad thing. Not to mention that the fact that essentially I think the price on it in U.S. once I convert it over... Two Canadian with shipping and all that kind of stuff probably came out to more than twenty dollars. I could be wrong, but I, for some reason, I keep thinking that it it, it would be more than twenty dollars. But yeah, that is my June two thousand sixteen pickups on Blu-ray. Here we go. Can't complain with any of these awesome titles. Um, so yeah, let me know. Do you own these? Do you not own them? Comment down below. I want to hear from you. Um, Except for Dismembering Christmas, I've seen all the other movies, so spoilers aren't... I'm not really too concerned with it, but other people may be, so no spoilers, right? But, uh, yeah, thanks for checking out my channel. Till next video, take care, have a good